Hello and welcome from Casarina Prison, Maximum Security Prison. Today is Saturday the 19th of May 2012. I'm about to visit Brendan O'Connell who is serving his three years for merely disagreeing with another person about the political issue prevailing in the Middle East. Whether um, Australia should import fruit that is exported from Israel and this in regard to the treatment they are meeting out to the Palestinians. Brendan protested and this was deemed to be a racist act and therefore he was given a maximum of three years and of course in the process, he um, defended himself in, on his own. He didn't really know um, what, what would be confronting him within the court system. There are conflicting streams of defenses available, but in this instance, it, it was not successful because the issue here is, are the Jews a race or not? Only last week um, there was jubilation from Jerusalem where it stated that they had found some genetic uh, marker which proved that they were a race. Now this of course is nonsense. It is a religion like Christianity and Islam and Buddhism. It is a mindset that has crystallized itself into physical activity. Now, Brendan has been on a hunger strike for a long time now. I think it's uh, over 30... Oh, 60, over, 6 or 7 over days. 60 odd days. Um, because he is doing this um, on the grounds that the Palestinian prisoners, 2,000 of them in Israeli prisons, are doing the same thing. Now, I hope when I see Brendan, we have a double session booked with him, that he will indeed show that he has been reducing weight. He had lots of weight. He was a chubby fellow, and I hope he's going to be mean and lean and hungry looking, and that his mind is racing like hell towards that victory that we'll have, ultimately, because the logic of the battle, the dispute, is in our favor. So, until... A few seconds later, you'll see when I emerge from the dungeon, which in fact is the maximum security prison behind me, it looks like a dungeon entrance. Um, this is where we'll see Brendan for the first time. Um, Acacia prison was far more amenable. It was a minimum security prison. This one is supposed to be maximum housing the dangerous characters. And just as an aside, you've got to remember that anyone who's in there usually lacks education, lacks money, and lacks social connections. The real crooks are outside. And they are very often running the departments, the government, the judiciary, and the banking system. Well, I've just come back from out there or in there, actually it's in there and then out and then in again. It's the uh, perimeter fence, you move beyond that and then you enter the actual prison itself. I saw Brendan, he is looking good, he is chirpy, he is still fighting, he knows that his cause is a just one, that it is a matter of national security to expose the Israeli connections. It is important, as he said, also to ensure that Jewish, Christians, and Muslims are coming together and dis to discuss these concerns that, that are all vital to, to Australians who care about their country and are upset by what the Israelis are doing to our national security. 
Brendan had the appeal decision handed down on the 4th, and he likens it to the 5th, which was a Saturday, and to the Sand case in Britain, in Ireland, when that conflict was raw many years ago, where they were also um, on the hunger strike. But Brendan has said that he will continue. He's in his 70th uh, day. Uh, he had a couple of days break between the hunger strike commencing, but now he is ready to um, um, continue. And as I said, he is looking good. The appeal uh, was rejected on the 4th of May. Uh, Brendan has to look forward to the 24th of July uh, for his parole. He is applying, but I don't know uh, whether he'll be successful. He certainly um, is hoping that perhaps something will be done, but he certainly will not resolve from his position that what he is in there for is because he opened the floodgates of that national security issue that um, involves Israeli security playing around with Australian security. This is the big issue. It's certainly also one of um, Jewish supremacism in Australia that is so evident um, in the um, case that that was brought against him because of his posting that altercation he had with that young Jewish fellow at the Palestinian uh, protest in Perth um, that objected to Israeli fruit imports coming to Australia. Brendan says he will continue the hunger strike because there is a principle at stake. He has joined with the Palestinians and therefore he... Sorry? A good night's sleep. Let me sum up my visit to Brendan at uh, Casarina Prison. Um, Brendan is continuing the hunger strike in line and in sympathy with what the Palestinian prisoners are doing in the Israeli jails. There is a principle at stake, and that is the principle of free expression, of free international discourse of uh, eliminating justices, injustices that are perpetrated upon those who wish to think national, think nationalistic, think uh, of their families who are suffering under occupation. Brendan is identifying with that because we in Australia are also indirectly or um, in a very subtle way also under occupation. The country does not anymore belong to the people. This is a great concern and we find this um, move um, of disowning our, um, our country um, it's, it's a, such a subtle process that we see this at grassroots level where people are crushed through the financial system. This is the ultimate um, element underpinning uh, what Brendan is trying to do, to focus on the exploitation that is occurring in Australia. And this has essentially... Um, national security aspects to it that are deep-rooted but not at all visible to the ordinary person. Remember, the only freedom we have in Australia is the freedom to go shopping. But once you start challenging the structures that uh, enslave you to uh, international predatory capitalism that make you a slave to this, then you will be hauled to the, into the courts, you will be silenced effectively. Well, Brendan has not been silenced, and I salute him for this. Anyone who would like to write to him, 
please write to him, Brendan O'Connell, Locked Bag 1, Quinana. Uh, it's 6966 uh, six, Quinana, uh, Western Australia. Casarina Prison. Uh, Casarina Prison. Uh, yep. Now, this is where the editing comes in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Um, Casarina Prison and how do you spell that I can't find it here uh, but it's, it's you know it's, it's just Quinana yeah I'll, I'll put it on the screen yeah um, so this this is where Brendan is write to him and give him your support he deserves it Brendan is not perpetrating moral turpitude that's the American concept where you are physically violent or you incite someone to physical violence, he does not do that. He is standing up for his rights and responsibilities as a citizen of Australia. And this should be honoured, this should be, um, could have been honoured had the appeal been allowed. It's a nonsense that Brendan has received three years prison that this has criminalized him as a, a racist perpetrator. This kind of judgment is a nonsense. Um, please reflect on this. Use your reflective intelligence to convey your support for Brendan O'Connell. Thank you.